At the tone, please record your message. Yo, Reflex. Hit me back, homie. I got this new record. I need you to go out there and boom it. You ain't been picking up your cars. I don't know if you got Hollywood on me or what, but you need to holler back at your side how you dig that. It's Kendrick Lamar. I'm gone. That's right. It's the message on Power 106 at midnight. DJ Reflex and uh, excited to have these fellas up in here, man. I want to welcome they to the group. And, and for those of you who don't know, can you guys introduce yourselves real quick to, to, the, to the radio? Uh, my name is Drew Love. Yeah. My name is Dante. Yeah. And where uh, are they? Yeah, and you guys, you guys have been in LA for a minute. You guys, are, you guys are out here, but you guys are originally from different parts of the country and such, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I grew up in Denver, Colorado. He grew up in DC, Maryland, right. earlier. And, yeah. and can we talk about how um, they kind of came together, like the concept? Because from what I kind of like know, you guys were obviously doing it like prior to meeting each other, doing music. Such, how did you guys kind of connect in, into music together? I mean, that's why it's kind of like a blessing, um, because. Me and Dante always kind of had in the back of our head that we kind of wanted to do something on our own. Yeah. Um, but we were definitely both entrenched into the whole writing for other people and, and getting our name out there that way. Um, and then one day we just met together to do a session just to do just that, just to write for somebody else. Mm. And then as soon as we came up with the song, we came up with not very good. And we were like, yo, man, let's just do our own thing. Let's just decide. And we just decided to come up with something completely original that we never done before and uh, back it up came out of that so was that was that yeah was that like the moment like when you guys did that record for you so it was literally a session for somebody else yeah and like was it that record like literally that, that record or was there like a side conversation or something or did you like have to like hide that record from the artist no nah, like, oh, I, I think once we got about like two or three in to yeah. it we were like yo we, we got something here. like you know because a lot of times it's like there'll be like one joint you do it'll be oh this is tight yeah. and you never do another good song together <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah so it's like yo we had once we realized it's like yo we got like some chemistry or whatever we're like yo let's why don't we just make a run of this as a group and, yeah. you know yeah. here we are like, i know i've been in some sessions before where like in in the process i'm like oh man i really wish like this artist wasn't here hearing this record because I would rather give it to someone. someone <laughs> right, like right, that. exactly. And such. But that, that's awesome. So I, um, how, how long ago did the, the whole, you guys actually start that one? How long ago was that session? How long ago was that? It was, oh. um, it was almost two years ago. It was, it was like October of, of 2014. So, I mean, that's one of the beauty, you know, the beautiful parts about being in L.A., it's just that you never know who you're going to encounter. Sure. You know what I'm saying? You have so many like talented people just all in one city. And yeah. You never know like the, the person that you just randomly meet, just you don't even know that's that could end up being the person that you partner right, up with right. to, to take you to the next level. Yeah. So. Um, let's talk about this uh, song Deep In that we just, uh, we've just we been playing up here. Okay. Um, now, this is from a forthcoming project, right? Are we, are we, should we expect it this year? I'm, I'm hearing that it could come yeah, so sooner Yeah, so we're, we're literally right now finishing our um our next project that's going to be coming up it's a continuation of the new religion project that mm -hmm. we put out last year and um yeah so it's going to be featured on there and it's honestly one of our favorite songs that we did on there it's, yeah, it's great it's um i feel like it's sonically a little bit differently than different than some of the other things that we've done thus far so i'm yeah. glad that everybody's been vibing with it Thank um you. how do you guys self-describe kind of the sound is there is there a term that you guys use or is it like a a lane that you guys feel you're, you're feeling in, in music right now so we it was interesting because we we were sitting um and talking the other day and somebody had brought up a name for us uh, like a, a genre name to describe it because we've always been influenced heavily by like Nirvana and a lot of grunge bands and then yeah. obviously the classic R&B so somebody put the two together and Grun called it Grunge and B Grunge and B Grunge and B so I think it's a pretty cool cool name and cool way to describe it um, yeah it's a lot different it's just like a an amalgamation of a bunch of different yeah. sounds kind of into interesting so tell me tell me um uh from the grunge side obviously you mentioned uh, Nirvana Nirvana mm -hmm. um what's the other influences that you guys uh, individually or collectively kind of were influenced by just like as fans of music coming up yeah, well, I, I mean, I, I grew up, you know, listening to a lot of different music, obviously a lot of hip hop from like Tupac and Biggie and, and stuff like that to the later Diplomats. And then obviously I'm, I love all the trap stuff that's going on now. I also was really big into emo music. So I was into like, you know, Taking Back Sunday, Census Fail, mm -hmm. you know, a lot of things in, in that era um, of rock, like mid 2000s and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, it's, we're all over the place and I think it's going to get even more all over the place once people actually hear the album yeah. that's about to come out because I, I think anybody that has an idea of what they think that they is right now is going to be a little bit surprised whenever the album comes yeah. as well. So. Um, I caught you guys, I believe my first uh, chance to see you guys, you guys opened for, for Bryson in, right. yeah. in Los Angeles, I think the Will Turner or something. The Will Turner, yeah, that right. show. Um, how, how have you been able to, in these two years, how, how have you been able to kind of reach your fans and what's that kind of uh, development been like for you guys as far as shows and just interaction? Like, like what, what, what do you think the key has been so far for your fans to kind of engage with you guys? I think it's it's just I think it's all coming from a really real place and I feel like uh, people can kind of tell that because even though it's been two years since we kind of made our first song like 
new religion has been out for like less than a year. Yeah. So in all of this kind of we got thrown into the fire and all we could do is kind of draw on our influences and our actual real experiences on how to like deal with these type of things and go on stage every day and try to just get better every single day and I've, I've had the best producer in the game sitting next to me yeah. I said it right here on this radio station the best yeah. producer in the yeah, entire game I appreciate game. that man you guys are working really hard on, on the production game and for you to say it in this interview no <laughs> I just ruined the be- like the best moment ever right now no that's no amazing. it's all good Yo, that's a, no, that's all good. The, but that confidence in your team is what you need right like that yeah, confidence absolutely. 100%. You, makes you sleep well at night when you know you you know you can just get back in the next yeah. day and do something fresh man I love the uh, I love what you guys are doing man I, I think like um, specifically even going back to the deep end record man the vibe and just the, your approach uh, the da na 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 like that just that Some pattern so Kelly like stuff. yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. Like, it's like this classic, classic. Record, it's just, but it feels just like the bounce of it's crazy man it's, right. it's a really awesome record um, what else is going on, guys? What do you, what do you guys let's talk about? What, what are you guys up to other than... Uh, well, you know, like I said, we're, we're about to put out another project. Should be out. Not exactly sure the time, but it'll definitely be out sometime this year. And then in the meantime, you guys can still check out the New Religion EP. Um, we still got our collaboration with Zoo and Skrillex that's blowing up. And we mm-hmm. definitely got some, some shows that are going to be coming up as well. So just keep your eyes peeled for they. Yeah. And you guys are in great company on the on the, on the label side, man. You guys got a, a nice team over there. Uh, yeah, absolutely. And so, so I'm looking forward to the whole roster. Of, uh, you know, obviously, Kalan. Everybody's just, super talented amazing. on yeah. that label, man. Yeah, yeah That's absolutely. why we're glad to be a part of like a family like that, where everybody thinks differently, thinks yeah. kind of forward. Yeah. Forward What's uh? What, what do you guys um with, with current music? What do you guys uh like mostly into? Are you guys are you guys really checking for anybody right now? Yeah, I mean, well, Dante, who are you a big fan of right now? Because you already know who I'm a big fan of right now. Um. I'm I'm all over the place, man. My my playlist goes from from everything from like obviously like Future, Drake, and Party to like 1975, yeah, and, yeah. and, and Laney and and yeah. Neighborhood and stuff like that. Dope. So um, that, that's a lot of what I've been listening to yeah. recently. I like Glass Animals a lot too. Yeah, dope. Um, Twenty One Pilots are super. Twenty One Pilots are great. Yeah. Yeah. Twenty One. Yeah. Um, I, I got to see 1975. I was in Norway a few months ago, and they played. They just happened nice. to be there at the same time, and it was so weird because have you been to a live show of theirs yet? Not yet. So they're they're you know their their colors are like what's like purple and pink. They kind of use on this whole album and such. Mm-hmm. So that's kind of like the theme of the show. But in in Norway, like they're super polite. Like it's like. They applaud, but then there's nobody talk. Like, they don't talk. It's like at a movie, you know what I mean? Where like in LA, like people are just talking constantly right. and whatever, like making noise and shit. And <laughs> and they were just awkward because it was just like when a song would end, it was like being at the opera. So it was a right. really interesting way to like. Yeah, like, yeah. Like I felt they we like did they, one show in what? In yeah, we Oslo. did one show in Oslo. Norway, and, and they weren't they they were polite, but there was definitely dudes like <laughs> raging in the yeah, oh, man, raging, raging, raging element, in the crowd was yeah. crazy. Yeah. I mean, but they're on the top, so maybe yeah. they're just. If you drop, like you a different, to the top. Yeah. Nah, it <laughs> felt like everybody like got dropped off like by their parents. Like, at a, like but it was like a you know it was like a like a you know a, a Staples Center size mm-hmm. like venue. Like, oh, it was okay. a, it oh, was like a, a big huge. Spot. Okay, and so they were just chilling. Um, but but nineteen, I love all those bands in the neighborhood. Jesse's my one of my good yeah. friends and shit. So nice. that's that's a good team. Um, yo, let's uh let's um. Let's play something off the off the old off the, off the old project too, man. Why, why I got you guys here? What's uh, what's um, like the fan favorite at your shows right now? That you probably can, back it up, yeah, back it back up, it up back still. It yeah. Up. yeah, cool. Let's do that, man. I want to say thanks again for coming up. And Thank you so much for giving us this opportunity, are, man. You guys, day when you're not on tour, come up anytime when you guys keep dropping records. And of course, appreciate looking you, forward man. to hearing the whole project when it, when it's complete. Appreciate that. Right, cool. They, they on the message right here on Palin. Wolf Pack, Timberland, best then, better now. Get yourself a pair at Robert Wayne Footwear. 